What's good, my good, good people? How y'all feeling? It is Miss Tanya. I'm here. I'm here to bring you a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of media, and I messed it up. But that's okay. It is the last day of the 12 videos to Christmas. And really, I think y'all probably have this thing memorized by now. I bring you a little bit of poetry, a little bit of lifestyle, and a little bit of media. Why? Because that's what I do. And I am very happy to be here today. It is Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve to everybody. The world is going through so much. So, so much. So I wish you whatever moment of happiness that you're able to have, that you're able to muster up, please enjoy it. Taking nothing for granted. I know that there are people who are going through some really, really tough times in their lives right now. So whatever moment of happiness that can be shared with you and that you can share with your family and loved ones, I wish you that. Now back to these 12 videos to Christmas. Why'd y'all let me do this? Why did y'all let me take myself through this? Why didn't y'all say, T, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't try to upload no videos every day like that. That's going to be a lot of work, girl. Nobody warned me. But let me tell you something. I am so happy that I took the challenge. Big shout out and thanks to Tori Williams. Shout out to Io. Shout out to V. Scott. You know, they were hanging in there with me. I know we were kind of holding each other accountable and sharing videos with each other. Other people in the challenge as well. If you guys get to look up the hashtag, there's people out there. Hope you saw some of their videos. Thank you to everybody who took out time and watched the videos with me. I appreciate your time. I really do. Thank you to the new subscribers. I saw new subscribers coming in one by one. This YouTube thing is kind of tough. It really is. YouTube is tough. It's not an easy thing to build at all. And I learned so much by challenging myself to do this daily because it made me pay attention to so many things. It made me pay attention to how people kind of navigate within social media. Because on Facebook, a lot of my people are following me, but I find that the numbers are so very different on YouTube. I could probably get maybe a hundred views or a hundred likes within an hour or so on Facebook. YouTube, it doesn't translate that way. I don't know what that is. I don't know. You guys tell me because you guys are on Facebook a lot. At least, you know, that's where a lot of people who have been following me kind of loyally on social media has mostly been on Facebook. And maybe that's because Facebook has been my main concentration and I really wasn't concentrating as much on YouTube. I got to just tell you the truth. I hadn't been, but you know, I realized that it is important. And so with this 12 days and just every now and again, I would kind of inconsistently pay attention to YouTube and that's not a way to grow. That's not a way to grow at all all but i'm asking this question because i find a lot of people watching on facebook is it facebook not showing you guys when i put up a youtube link or is it you guys would prefer to stay in that one platform and just stay in facebook and if that's the case let me tell you guys something you're being kind of lacy you really are you're not helping out you're not helping me you're not helping me and you're not helping a lot of your people who are out here who are looking to build their brand, to build channels, to bring you content, because a mass amount of people are really taking content to YouTube. It's just a, a platform where a lot of creators are, where lots of creators upload their works. And it really is a good space to upload video content because we're able to take those links and put them out other places. So if you have someone in your social media friendship, what do we call that? Your social media relationship. You know, you got to support them outside of that. So if they're asking you to support them outside of it, you know, show that support. Because if you're coming in and, and you're giving me these likes and you're giving me these comments here in one spot, I just want to figure out what, what does it take for me to get you to come on over. Come on over to my place. Come on over to YouTube. That's what I'm trying to say. Come and check a sister out. But I learned that. That's one thing. Another thing that I learned, consistency. Now, I knew this. I knew this. But the practice of this will show you lessons beyond what you intellectually know. Just watching the way the algorithm works. 
And I realized that I've just got to have a lot more content to keep building. I've got, I've got to be consistent. If I want you guys to be consistent in supporting me, and if I want new people to come in and support me, I realized that I've got to be consistent in putting that content out. And then I had to ask myself, well, why aren't you putting content out? Because you have the things that it takes to do it. We all get busy in our hustle and bustle of the day, trying to make our business work, trying to make our family work, and just the entire life dynamic. I understand that. I've gone through the phases of working, working mother, single mother, some of the same things that a lot of people out here could use as an excuse. But what I realize is there isn't an excuse. You've got to find a way to get the things that you want to get done. You can do it. It is a challenge, but you can do it. I proved that to myself with these 12 videos to Christmas. And to learn this... In 12 days, to me, I feel like it's really the beginning. It really is. But it taught me so much. So, if nothing else, I know i got to keep going. I know I've got a lot more video content to upload. I want to bring the material to you. I want to answer the questions that you have for me. And I want to show you some of the things that I do. And maybe they might work for you. I hope that they do. That's the only reason why I'm sharing it, because I feel like if I can do this, you can do this. And I'm still using some of the same equipment that you guys have. Throughout this whole challenge, I did not use my camera once, not any of my cameras. I only used my camera phone. I did use some of the apps that I told you, and you should look into using the apps if you choose to go further with using your phone. And I don't see why you wouldn't. Is a camera phone going to be better than a camera? Hmm. It depends on how you use it. For the type of shot that I would like to get, I would probably want to use a camera. But I, I used my phone because I wanted you to know that it was still good enough. It's, if it's all that you have, it is good enough. Don't allow that to be an excuse. That's why I used my phone. And I like using my phone anyway. I really do. The whole idea behind getting this phone was so that I could be a whole lot more mobile. That was the idea. I wanted to be able to have it in my pocket, my purse, or a a backpack, be able to pull it out at any moment, because I'm always with my phone, just like you guys. We always have our phone on us. So that means I always have a camera. So with the different apps that I have, I know what I can get. I know what I can use. Watch the other video because I talked about the apps. So go through my videos from the 12 videos to Christmas and you'll find it when I talked about apps. I talked about lighting. Lighting is important. I'm not even using the best light setup. I'm not. I have a light right here in front of me, which is called a key light. It's in a little soft box. It's cheap, but it serves the purpose. You've got to have light if you want your video to be decent. And this is what I would call decent. I don't think it's the greatest. I don't. I just want you to see what you can do at some of the bare minimums. This is some of the bare minimums. The phone stabilized on a tripod, a microphone, a light. Got a little light behind me. Okay? Find you a little corner. And get something that's not as busy as this right here. I wouldn't make it this busy. This is a bit too busy to me. Even when I'm watching the videos, I'm like, woo, girl, you got a lot going on in that frame. All them colors, what's going on. What's a a lot of stuff. But that's still coming back to another point. If you're going to do this, you've got to have content. If you want to have your viewer, you have to keep their attention. You have to have content. What are you bringing to them? And I hope that I am bringing something to you that you like. And if I am, that's why I ask you to subscribe. If I am, that's why I ask for the like and the comment. Because I am building. And I hope that you're thinking of building. And if you're not, support your friends, support local businesses, support community artists, support young people who are out here starting their YouTube channels. If there are young people who happen to be watching this video, teens, college students, you guys get the whole social media You get how it works. But if you want to start your channel, go ahead and start it now. Because as many videos as you can build up, that's what it takes to start getting a little bit more recognition. And I've got a lot of building to do. I've got a lot of videos I need to to upload. 
So you guys will be seeing some more videos from me. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Much love to you and your family. And we look forward to some much better times in this coming year. Thank you guys for your support. You know I love you. One love. Poetry, lifestyle, media, because that's what I do.